I was diagnosed at 50 years old with breast cancer. And lo and behold, I did carry the genetic mutation, the BRCA2 gene. Sharing the news about the BRCA mutation with my daughters was not easy. No one wants to ever feel like they've passed bad genes on to their family, let alone their children. So my sister and I went in, got tested. She was negative and unfortunately I was positive. I was going for my routine screenings. There were a few instances where they saw something and I had to have a biopsy. And each time was just a waiting game, anxiety. I finally decided to do my double mastectomy when I was 33 years old. We scheduled a date for it and I never looked back. I was in the waiting room when the surgeon came out and said that Jamie was doing well. However, they believe that they did see a small cancer. And at that particular time, I totally broke down. Hearing that this cancer got to her broke my heart. When I woke up after my surgery and my breast surgeon came in to tell me that everything went well, but they saw a spot that could have potentially been an early stage breast cancer, I was extremely panicked. I, I thought to myself, how could this be happening? I came in to do this surgery preventatively. Nothing was confirmed until the pathology came back. And I remember the day that my breast surgeon called me, it was five days later, and said, unfortunately, the results came back and you do have early stage breast cancer. It is stage 1A, it's treatable. And now I had to then go back a month later and have this other surgery, which was not a pleasant surgery to have, about 15 lymph nodes removed to test. Surprisingly, my doctors did not discuss the possibility that there could be cancer when I went in for my mastectomy. As a parent, when you have children, you can't really change the genetics that you give them, but what you can give to them is the power and the information to do something about it. I became a survivor. It gives me the power to feel like I could overcome anything. I'm gonna be an advocate for the rest of my life for this, for other women that are potentially facing a situation like mine and encouraging them to take the steps that they need to take care of their bodies and not to be afraid of what you may find because this could save your life. This surgery saved my life.